welcome here in our lab. Thank you very much. Can, can you explain where, where, where exactly are we, uh, Robert? So, so we are in the main lab of Alcium. Uh, Alcium is a, a company I started uh, now 12 years ago. 12 years, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and so you see uh, we have some, some stuff, some interesting test equipment. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can say it is, you know, it's a, you know, this is just one room, I believe. <laughs> So the idea was to, to, to start a company to, to help uh, startups mainly to, to develop their electronic products uh, with a, a key focus on wireless and um, mixed external designs, things uh, where electronic seems a little complicated. So I, think, I think that is your specialty, yes, wireless yes, and yeah. mixed signals, etc. Yes. etc. Et uh, heard you saying we love equipment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we love test equipment, so that's, that's the good news. So we can, we have some money and we love equipment, so we can buy some things. Good, good. And um, in wireless in particular, it's very uh, critical to have enough equipment to, to, to understand what's going on. What are you using this setup for? What, uh, what oh, sort so, of measurements are we so, looking at? So, for example, we have a, a spectrum analyzer, so the one uh, running it. Yeah. And here it's a, um, a quite nice uh, Tektronics uh, real-time spectrum analyzer uh, that okay. allows um, either to, to, to see the spectrum of a signal, but also to demodulate uh, information to understand what's, uh, what, what the information flow is between two equipment. Uh, but you have also, in, uh, for example, the, one of the most difficult parts of a RF project is the antenna. And uh, to work on antenna, you need uh, a vectorial network analyzer. Here, here you have okay, the DNA. Where, where? So this is a VNA. So uh, an old one, but uh, a nice one uh, from uh, from HP. Me, 30 years old, but uh, still working. Still working. Uh, 30 years old. Yeah, you more specific, think? more dedicated equipment like a, a noise figure meter. This is a noise figure meter in order to okay. to measure the the quality of a receiver. Uh, also an old one, but still working. A lot of equipment what you're using for your RF and for your yeah. for your wireless yeah. measurement is actually not new, you know. Not new, it's and uh, probably our key supplier is eBay. Yeah. Half of the equipment here come from eBay, just because we have not uh, not enough cash to buy uh, uh, this equipment as new. Uh, well, for example, this spectrum analyzer we bought it uh, new, but um, nearly all the other ones are, uh, are from second source. For example, this 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 is a, a 20 gigahertz oscilloscope. Uh, if you buy it new, probably it's a one, 100,000 euros. 20 gigahertz. 20 gigahertz, yeah. Okay, good, good. Uh, something with oscilloscope. Uh, so new is a cost of fortune, and this one we bought it from 1,000 euro maybe. Yeah. If you look um, often on eBay, and if you are I mean, ready to take some risks, what, what the risk is, you can look there, and here you have a, a faulty <laughs> a web generator behind. Okay. So if someone is able to come and repair this one, we will be very happy. Okay. So if you want a, a 13 gigahertz oscilloscope, this is one. Okay. Where exactly uh, are you using this uh, scope for? You know, what, what is the... Yeah, so is so the, the, the key target for such a high-speed scope is to validate, uh, to qualify uh, high-speed digital signals, okay. uh, like uh, gigabit Ethernet, uh, USB free, this kind of, uh, of stuff, which are, I mean, uh, intrinsically using uh, uh, gigahertz as a, as a baseband frequency. So if you want to qualify such signals, you have to you have to have a 10 gigahertz oscilloscope or more. That's it. It it, it was our Christmas present. <laughs> we are trying to do a, a, as few software as possible. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We okay. are mainly hardware guys. Yeah, yeah. Maybe do you want to see an anechoic chamber? Many people know you as uh, the author of uh, the dark side. Yeah. But I think you're now taking us in the dark yeah, room. Yeah, in the dark room. Uh, well, light, wow. li light is on, so. The light is on, okay. Yeah. You can come here, the, yeah, the sure, sound yeah, will yeah. be different. So, welcome oh, wow. to the anechoic chamber. Yeah, So, uh, and uh, this is the dream place <laughs> for a lot of people who are into uh, electronics RF and, and uh, RF yeah, design. Yeah. It basically allows to reproduce in a indoor uh, some uh, very clean outdoor configuration for RF. So we can measure an antenna, we can measure radiation pattern, we can measure a transmitted power, just putting a product here, uh, moving it around using this uh, uh, automated uh, platform, uh, and then measuring the signal received on the other end to this uh, reception antenna. Electronics, yeah. what, what exactly is the darker side of electronics? Uh, so, uh, now the idea was to, at the beginning, so it, no, 10 years ago, we, when I started uh, the, the, this adventure, uh, this writing adventure, the, the idea was to write articles on subjects that are 
perceived as difficult uh, okay. in electronics. So uh, starting with uh, electromagnetic compatibility, radio frequencies, um, difficult stuff like that, maybe signal processing, things like that. And uh, so the, the idea was to write articles bringing this subject out of the darker side. <laughs> So okay. the, the goal was not to dig in the darker side, but to, to, to put light in the darker side. Is, is yeah. there a subject which you, which would you say, okay, this is still very dark for me, you know, this... Uh, probably plenty of them. So uh, I, I try every two months to, to, to take a subject that is not as dark <laughs> as it should for, for <laughs> other people in a, and to bring it in the, in the light. Uh, but of course, uh, I, I learn myself every, uh, for every article, I, I, I learn a lot in order to, to prepare what I have to explain. Is there a formula or is there a sort of a piece of equipment which you say, okay, now I, now I start to understand yeah. what electronics Pro is Probably the, the, the first time I met an oscilloscope uh, was, uh, I mean, uh, uh, um, something that, that allowed me to understand plenty of An things. Oscilloscope. An oscilloscope, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just looking at a signal, looking at a, uh, looking at a sine wave, um, is a very um, impressive when you are younger, when you are new in the technology, uh, and, and uh, understood that uh, understanding that uh, if you put your finger on the on the probe, then you see something on the screen, and uh, what is this signal? What wh where does it come from? That's that's good. very interesting. That's good, good. So every every everybody has to buy an oscilloscope. So you don't, if you don't have an oscilloscope, buy one. Okay.